Hello everyone, Trila back again. Welcome to my channel. I have just popped in out of my garden for my lunch and when I'm working in the garden um, I'll work my bees for about three quarters of an hour and then have about half an hour break because I can't work like I used to in the, the garden. What I've been doing today is getting all the weeds out of my... I've got a large patio on one side of the, um, the garden and just getting like a jungle the weeds are just taking over my garden because I haven't been able to get out into doing anything to it the last <coughs> because of the the rotten weather we've had and then with the knitting I was doing I just wanted to get some of the things finished that um, I was doing but I'm doing one of the little hats for um, Helen I've already done one that's the one to go with the um, the little pink cardigan that I did. So that's the pink one with the pink hat doing. And you know those things you get for doing the um, the pom-poms? You get a massive one which I don't want and then this one's quite big and then after that they're very small. They don't have a, a one in between this size and the next small one. You know sometimes that's okay but if I'm doing a smaller one I want a smaller pom-pom but I don't want a tiny one. But they don't seem to do a, um, an in-between one. I'll have to make a one out of cardboard myself, I think, for the smaller hats. But this one, this size, would probably be doing on the, um, the other two because I'm doing a, um, one for a 20-inch and one for a 22-inch. And that's a 24-inch one. That um, As soon as I get the hats finished, I'll be sending that off to um, Helen. I've already sent the... Um, that eyelash wool that I was knitting, that, that was doing that for Jean, that's Helen's sister. I've already sent that off to um, her. I haven't heard from her yet, so she'll let me know when she receives it. So anyway, I'm just having a, um, <coughs> a break and doing a little bit knitting while I'm having a break and having a cup of tea as well. So you won't be saying much of me the next few days as long as we've got any nice weather because my garden is like a jungle. The weeds has just taken over my garden and I've got an awful lot of work to do in the garden just to tidy it up and make it look a bit more decent. At least get rid of all the, um, the weeds and everything. You know once the cold weather comes we'll not be doing anything in it anyway but you like to tidy it up for the um, the winter anyway and I want my hedge in the back garden cut I done the front one a little while ago but the back one needs cutting but I have a it's called a garden it's called a hedge groom but it's like a lawnmower you do over your, um, your hedge but you have to do it when it's quite short you haven't got to let it grow well I've let it grow too long so I'm having to use my the other, the other kind, you know, the long thing that you go over the top and that uh, hedge trimmer or cutter or whatever you call it. But there's so many weeds underneath. I need to clear out all those weeds first because when I come to pick up the um, the cuttings off the um, the hedge, I'll not be able to sort sort them out because of the weeds underneath. Where the other thing I have, the um, the garden groom like a lawnmower, that goes into a, um, a box. It chops it up into tiny little bits, just ready for your compost. But that's why I like it. But I left the um, the hedge get too long this this year. I've already used that um, hedge groom this year because of the weather and the rotten weather and that. And so when I come in out of my garden, I won't be tidying myself up. I've just flattened my hair down a little bit because it's a little bit breezy outside and it's blown my hair around and my hair's that thin. You just need a little bit of breeze and it blows it. looks like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. <coughs> but I have just got to finish this row and I'm going to show you something else I've been doing. I have a drink of my tea as well before it gets cold. And I have been putting um, old videos onto my new channel, um, Sheila's Shopping and Cooking. 
and I've been putting old videos on it's just just putting them I've been taking them from this channel once I've downloaded them uh, from this channel into my computer I delete them off this channel because it could be a conflict with um, putting the same video onto another one of my channels it's it comes up with something like copyright <laughs> so telling me that somebody's copied my videos but it's me that's copied them so I've been deleting them off this channel as I've been doing them but I'm just using them for to get the um, the watch hours on my other channel because I won't be putting a lot of videos up because I'll only be putting anything I might cook and any shopping I might do so the only now and again so I don't need the um, the watch hours so I'm using the, um, the old videos so most of the videos, anyone that's watching that channel, most of the videos you see, well all of them up to now, are all old videos. There's only been one that I've put up um, when I got that, the contraption thing for doing my tutorials, that was a, um, a new one. But anything else I do, any shopping I do, new ones, I'll be putting them onto that, onto that channel instead of this one. So I've finished that row now, I'm going to show you what else I've been doing. This little cardigan, completely finished it, and I've also finished the PDF for it. And while I send the PDF out free to anyone that wants it, um, when it goes into a pattern, the patterns will be on my AB and Etsy shops. They'll be two pound fifty each, the same as my other ones. But I'm sending out the PDF to anyone that wants it, and hopefully some of my subscribers one lady's already offered to do one the different sizes because i've only actually knit this one size and i've worked out from the pattern itself i've worked out the other two sizes but i've done a lot of alterations to that pattern the original pattern was to the new knitter they just couldn't understand it it was very badly written so I've altered a few things, even on the two bigger sizes, I've altered quite a lot of things because it came out, the first one I did came out far too wide, so I've had to alter the number of stitches for the um, the front and the um, the back and that, and alter a little bit round the, uh, the neck because the neck was too wide as well. So I'm showing you the, the pattern I have now. That was my first attempt, that one, and that's my second attempt. As you can see, I had to mess about with the picture to get the, so there wasn't a lot of border around. That one, there's a lot of white border around there. And then I put the full picture on the, um, the back, but I couldn't alter that one very much. It didn't matter what I did, it seemed to come out the same size, but slightly. There's not quite as much white here and there. But very little difference on the um, the back. So that's the one that will be going out. I've just done that one for myself. I'll keep that one for myself. So that's the pattern that will be go out when I when I when I start selling it. And as you can see, it's just it's got the size now. It took me a lot of work to work this out on the. Um, <laughs> I go on the paint on my computer. And I kept making mistakes and I'm getting the thing written out and then I pressed somewhere and so I'm getting these white bar things going all over the place on the picture and I had to start all over again and I managed to get it eventually. <laughs> and again, and I was putting these on and it was starting here and it was finishing there instead of in the centre. So I've worked out now in the paint now how to do it so it comes out in the centre of the, um, the picture. <laughs> but that one, I'm seeing as soon as... Um, one or two of my subscribers does the, um, it's a 16 to a 20 inch pattern and this is a 16 inch I've done and so anyone who does the um, the 18 inch and the 20 inch let me know if they find any mistakes or anything like that so I know that it's it's alright to send it out to sell that there's nothing wrong with it and that's all so just to let you know that um, the PDF is there for anyone that wants it it's free to anyone that wants a PDF, I don't charge for PDFs. Some people do give me um, donations to put me into my PayPal account, but I don't ask for anything um, for the PDFs. I just give them out free for anyone that wants them free. Just the, um, the paper patterns 
And if anyone wants a paper pattern, you know, without going on my shop, just email me with their address and that, and they can put the money into PayPal, and I'll send it out to them myself instead of, instead of them if they don't know how to get onto the shops. So that's that. Little one, now I'm just going to finish my cup of tea. And I have weeded my large pat patio. I'm going to weed my path. I have a large wide path goes all the way down the back garden and that has got loads of weeds coming up in between all the paving. They're all old paving slabs that's, that's made of. And it's just the weeds is just coming out up like something now. So I'm going to do that now. And that's back breaking because I have to keep bending up and down all the time and that's why I have to have a break it's okay if I'm doing other things in the garden but the bending up and down is what kills me <laughs> so anyway thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you later so bye for now